So we understand that your x-axis isn't working. We want to go through a few steps and get it on camera just so we don't have any loss of communication over the phone. So what we wanted you to check was on the controller card on the right side of the machine, we take off this panel. Up top, it's really hard to get to uh, with the, the casing on, but there's the x-axis port all the way up here. And what we said is make sure that green terminal is properly plugged in. Uh, a lot of times, sometimes they may not be seated in travel or whatever it may be. You wanna push it in there. Make sure it's nice and snug, just the top one, X-axis. If that's plugged in, then we wanna move over to our X-axis motor controller, which is down here, this little black box. So it plugs into the controller card and works its way all the way over here. This is its end. And we just wanna, once again, just get, don't be afraid to put some force on it. Make sure that green terminal is plugged in. And this one's fully seated, that's good. And then we wanna look at our out ports. And the same thing, there's gonna be two more terminals. So you're just pushing them up, making sure that's fully seated and plugged in, assuming all of that's plugged in. So double check that and then get back to us. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we're gonna see the X axis slowly move over to the right as it should. There we go. And it's fully working because I have all the wires, everything plugged in. Uh, if everything's perfectly seated, then reach back out and we'll go with our next troubleshooting steps.